Oh, let's fire this baby up. So yeah, the bike is done. 2,533 miles, which is not a lot. So I went in, had a service, I've done an order and filled the change, uh, ch checked out, you know, the usual bits and pieces, new rear tyre. So yeah, uh, they're good to go really again. Good to go. Um, leave, leaving the old um, settings as they are. There was a there was a spanner indicator on there, but that's disappeared now. They've reset that, which is good. So yeah, I'm just so surprised on uh, the performance of this thing. Hello, mate. Another friendly bike. Ah, right. Oh god. But after riding that CB650 for the day, I had that for the day. It was a lone bike, a demo, well not a demo, it was a demo as well I suppose, but I had it for a lone bike while this was in. I actually um, got quite quite acquainted to that, but it, it didn't take me long once I got back on this, like I said, I haven't rid this for two weeks, so to get back on this, I mean I've just had a pre-camera ride, if you know what I mean, so I've been able to open it up a bit and uh, yeah, that, that, that's one thing with this bike, I'll tell you what, if you ever get a chance to test ride one, if you're brave enough, <laughs> then, you know, I'd, I'd definitely do it. Definitely do it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, we got a learner on his Honda. What's that? Honda CB? CB125? I don't know. Nice little backrest there for the pillion passenger. But yeah, if you ever get a chance to test ride one of these, get yourself over to your local dealer. I'm sure they'll uh, allow you. <coughs> Obviously you need the licence of course, but... But yeah, after riding the CB, this, this thing, you know, absolutely unbelievable, this. Yeah, I don't know what it, what it compares to the latest CBR. RRRR, <laughs> thousand RRRR. I don't know, there's plenty of R's in that anyway in the new CBR but uh, yeah, oh god yeah definitely get yourself out and try one out bloody weather's lovely again I say again weather's been rubbish it's the first opportunity you know, in order to get out I'm out what we got here camper van we're now coming up to Sea Pauling Sea Pauling it's a lovely little um, of a little village by the sea by the seaside. Uh, what's this bloody camp? Oh, there's another camper in front. That's why. Very popular with the old jet skis. Sea Portland. Yeah, lovely beach. It's calmed down a bit now. It was uh, we, when we had that all that uh, high temperature weather in the 30s, and that it was absolutely chocker everywhere really. So it's, I think kids are going back to school now. So it's calmed down a lot. I don't really want to be following these camper vans for too long. Hopefully they're turning off. That one is, but uh, hopefully. So yeah, after the <coughs> after the CB650 ride out, I actually for, for for a moment there I did contemplate. I don't know. I was because of the riding position. I quite enjoyed the riding position compared to this thing. Um, so. I was contemplating maybe, I, I quite like those 765 RS, quite fancy taking one, one of those out, so that might be on the cards, so yeah, just love the riding position, I just said I wasn't going to follow these, didn't I, I could have gone straight on, but I wanted to show you Sea Pauling, take you down the beach, well not, not down the beach, I can't get you down the beach, but, <laughs> so yeah, what was I saying, yeah, the, the Triumph 765 RS, has, I've, I've watched loads of reviews and all that's left to do really is to test ride so yeah, you never know in the future, keep a watch if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button yeah, might take you uh, for a little ride out on the, on the new, well I say new 2020 Triumph 765 RS, possibly you need to contact the dealer book myself up on a test ride Oh, indicator's still on there. It's very easy to leave. So a lot of these new bikes now have got cancelled, like self-cancelling indicators. That's a prime example there, if you notice that. Uh, what, what, you know, why, why you should need them? Yeah. 
yeah there's one thing about these uh like these one litre thousand cc bikes but you know if you if you are new to biking i mean you you, you have to go through all your, your lessons and well unless you can already ride the bike i suppose but a bike but you, you, you know it's not difficult to work your way up and get yourself on one of these things I didn't do my bike test until 2008 so uh, I had I had bikes through my teens and what have you 125s and 50s and which I absolutely loved but yeah I had a bit of a break and a lot of people do have brakes and I've done actually done my test on a 125 I've done the O2 license which really made it quite easy for me because I was already riding and I, th I think the way I looked at it was well I'm going to have to do my CBT again anyway and I, I'm going to have to pay out for that so sod it I'm just going to book myself on a test I just went and booked my test I, I kind of like read up on what was required you know the the uh, every certain requirements and that and um, I actually done my test on my, on my uh, KMX 125 it we weren't even the most reliable as to bikes, it was a two-stroke and I think I smoked the examiner out on the day, it probably was, probably why I passed. But yeah, I'd done, I'd done that and actually the guy followed me in a car. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but the, the, instru uh, the examiner, he followed me in a car, so yeah, I, I, anyway, I passed. But I, like I said, I was on the... Hang on, I've got a fly in my visor again, gosh. Ah, it's gone. Yeah, I, I, um, I passed my test, but that meant I was restricted on an A2 license, so I kind of, I think I kept the KMX for, with that, you know, rode that without L-plates on, which was lovely, and got myself a, oh, it's a DRZ400, a Supermoto, and they could restrict it down to uh, the, you know, the required um, uh, brake horsepower for an O2 license. Oh, that is a nice Hazebel lighthouse there, the red and white lighthouse. I think it's just recently freshly been painted. Not a good job by the look of it. Hazebel lighthouse. Oh, slow down a bit. Yeah, so I, I, I won the bike front. Yeah, I've done the, the A2. I had the DRZ400 Supermoto for, I think I had that for a few years. I had it for a few years. But then after the two years, you automatically, it goes goes to the full license. It's an A1, I take it, A1 license. Which will enable you to ride anything. But what, what I've done is I, I bought the, the GSX-R1000, uh, uh, no, 1000, the 600, in uh, 2011. And had that for five years, which that, uh, that, was, a, that was an unbelievable bike. The downside with it is though it's got no traction control, ABS, no rider aids at all. It's got the power modes, like you've got here A, B and C. It's got the it's got the rider modes, but that's about it. And I, I kind of like when I sold it, I was I, I missed it so much. I just missed it just even just being there in the garage and <laughs> Went without a bike for a little while, then I, then I bought this. This was kind of like, I'm supposed to be a dream bike, really. It was at the time, and I'm still enjoying it now, but... Yeah, well, that's the story anyway. So don't think for one minute that, oh, God, you know, I'm never going get, to get myself up. You know, because I, I don't, I don't, I'm not assuming that everyone's riding 1000cc, 600cc motorbikes, you, 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 might be on, you might be a learner, which is brilliant. It's nice to, nice to see people on the, uh, out on the bikes and that, learning. Lots of stones here on the road, Christ. I think they overshot this corner a few times coming the other way. This is a horrible corner, this one. So yeah, that's one way to do it, and I think you can still do that. You can still do your A2 license, which is a great way to do it. So I didn't have any lessons. I don't know how the hell I managed that, but it probably helped that I could ride, or <laughs> I thought I could ride anyway. 
so it's one way to do it that's one way to do it and, and, and like I said uh, on the last video if you saw the last video that that CB650R that, that would be a brilliant bike to kind of like get your dip your toes in the water if say dip your toes in the water it might be the kind of bike that you you know you'd, you enjoy riding I enjoyed riding it but yeah that like I say they're, they're good commuter bikes good learner bikes well I'm gonna turn around in a minute Actually, no, I'll take it to, to Walcott, I'm not far away from Walcott, which is a lovely little village by the sea again. So yeah, here we are, this is Walcott, now coming into Walcott. Very popular this with the holiday makers, very popular, lots of holiday homes. Yeah, very nice. They do excellent fish and chips along here as well. Very quiet, very quiet today. Yeah, there's your fish and chip shop there. They do a foot long battered sausage in there. <laughs> See if you can manage one of those. <laughs> these cars but there just doesn't seem to be anyone about not even on the beach you've also got Bacton gas terminal just up here if you've ever wondered where your gas supply comes from that's well, not just here but a bit large majority of it does got pipelines coming in from the North Sea uh, across into Bacton by pipeline yeah lovely day lovely day It's actually starting to cloud over a little bit. Glass in the road. Whoop. Don't want to run over that. Punch him a new tyre. That'd be lovely. <laughs> that wouldn't be good at all. Yeah, I think all the kids are going back to school. I'll be interested to see how that goes. Hopefully that goes okay. Because, you know, the poor little buggers, they, 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 they've been off for so long. They've been off for bloody months. So they've probably be like, like been missing all their mates and... It's not really good, is it? 20 mile an hour. Um, 20 mile an hour, yeah. Acton gas terminal just off here to the right another chippy Acton chippy they're always busy them bloody fish and chip shops smelt nice when we went past Oh, where's he going? Oh, he's going to the Chinese Oriental Garden. Didn't even know that was there. Watch this bloke here in the car. Oh, well, got me hiding my indicator on again then. <laughs> Gotta watch that. But I'd say those self cancelling indicators would be a good thing. They really would. <clears throat> so you got your indicator on just before a junction could end in tears that one I don't think you'd have a leg to stand on well, why did you pull out sir where well, you had your indicator on <laughs> I bet that's happened a few times I just noticed I've got a hole in my glove that means I'm going to have to shell out for a new pair of gloves These are, I've had these for a few years now so it's probably 
probably not a bad thing. They're RST blade, I think they are. I bought these when I bought my leathers. So they're, they're done well. This is Bacton Gas Terminal. You've got the two big towers there. So the gas comes in here. Like I said, Bacton Gas Terminal. Yeah, the gas comes in here. <clears throat> There's normally loads of police about here. Not that I'm doing anything wrong, of course. Is that one there? No. He looks happy to be at work. Right, I'm going to turn around here. I think. Turn around. Here. Turn the indicator off this time. And straight out with that. Look at that, lad. Didn't even put my foot down then. Thirty mile an hour. They got all flooded out here a few years ago when we had a big tidal surge. Uh, bit bit further up here. We had the sea come up over the sea wall, which is a shame. So flooded out a lot of these. There's a load of little holiday lets and that. <coughs> I think a lot of people live in them all year. I don't know, but yeah, flooded it out. They had their work out trying to trying to re you know tidy them up. 